As far as I'm concerned, there is no excuse for not mulching your garden. I mean, why wouldn't you? It has so many benefits and it's such a simple, sustainable thing to do. Well, first off, what is mulch? It's any material that you spread over the soil surface that creates a permeable layer that air, water and nutrients can still pass through. Mulches can be organic, things like leaf litter, straw and wood chips, or inorganic, pebbles, gravels and coarse sand. And why mulch? Well, I'm glad you asked. It helps retain moisture in the soil, it keeps weed growth down, it protects your soil, preventing wind and water erosion, keeps the soil temperature stable, and mulching has got to be one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to improve your garden. I got this cubic meter for only 20 bucks because I picked it up myself from the landscape supplier, and that brings me to my first tip, how to calculate how much mulch you need for your garden beds. Most mulches are ordered by cubic volume, not weight, so you need to know the surface area of your garden beds. That's the length multiplied by the breadth. Don't be too fussy about your measurements and just square off rounded or curved areas. To get your cubic volume, then multiply your surface area by the mulch depth. Five centimetres is good for organic mulch. Do you want to know the easy way to calculate the volume of mulch you need? All you need to do is remember that one cubic metre of mulch will cover 20 square metres of soil when you spread it five centimetres thick. Before you spread your mulch, it's time for tip two, weed and feed. First thing to do is pull out the big weeds. Don't fuss too much, the little ones will get smothered by the mulch. Then sprinkle around a quality controlled release fertiliser. And if you've had problems with your soil not retaining moisture, now's a great time to spread a granulated soil wetter. Now here's a tip inside a tip. When you're using a very fresh mulch that's come from somebody like a tree lopper, it won't have been composted, so it'll have a very high carbon content. Well, what does that mean? Soil bacteria have to work hard to break down carbon. As they do, they consume lots of nitrogen from the soil. Now that's the stuff that helps keep your plants looking lush and green. I found a good way to overcome this unusual nitrogen loss is to also spread some organically derived fertiliser, something that adds an extra nutrient kick fast. In this case, pelletised poultry manure. Mulching tip number three comes from a question I'm often asked. Should I lay down a weed mat before I spread my mulch? And the answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> I'll explain. When I use an organic mulch, one of the reasons I do so is because I want it to break down and add organic matter and nutrients to the soil. If I put a synthetic barrier between the soil and the mulch, then the nutrients and all that material is never going to make it down into the soil. On the other hand, I always use a synthetic mat under pebbles and gravel. If you don't, they'll sink into the soil. When you do use a weed mat, just make sure it's an appropriate permeable material that allows the soil to breathe and water and nutrients to move through. And do not ever use non-permeable builder's film. You know the stuff, it's the heavy duty plastic. It'll effectively suffocate your soil. When I deal with an area that's had a serious weed problem, the mat I like to use is newspaper. Spread it about six or eight pages thick and water it as you go to stop it blowing away. Over a period of a few months, that newspaper will break down and add organic matter to the soil. And it gives the worms something to read in bed. <laughs> I've got to get myself a new gag writer. And my last big tip, don't push the mulch up against the trunks or stems of your plants. If you do, you can bring on rots and fungal problems that will damage or even kill your plants, so just keep it clear. This isn't such an issue with pebbles and gravels, but it's a must do with the organic materials. So there you have it. Follow my simple tips and you'll find mulching properly is as easy as measure, weed and feed, spread and water. Your garden and the environment will love you for it.